All right, thanks for staying with us. Well, there are three bills uh, moving through the House and Senate that would uh, ask the Congress to call an Article V constitutional convention on a couple of different subjects. And behind one of those pieces of legislation is Spider Webb. Spider, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. All right, so what you would attempt to do is call an Article V convention that allows Congress to uh, call to put together a convention that uh, would say that there could only be single subject legislation. For, well, let's start with the, com the concept of single subject. Why do that? Well, 41 states uh, have a single subject provision in their state constitution. 41 states, including Florida. And, uh, but that provision is missing in the United States Constitution. So our mission is to uh, add that provision to the United States Constitution. So you're, you're thinking is Congress people would not be forced to vote for nine out of the ten things that they like in a bill, but vote for the tenth thing they really hate if you did what you're doing? Well, with the adoption of this uh, language in the United States Constitution, you, you would be prohibiting riders. And riders, by definition, are unrelated provisions. And riders are used um, harmfully in two ways. One, you have a piece of legislation that's going to pass, that must pass, uh, and riders are added by those in power uh, to reward loyalty or, uh, you know, a quid pro quo for vote on other measures. Uh, but the most uh, egregious use of riders is where you have a piece of legislation that uh, just doesn't have the votes. Uh, maybe it's close, but it doesn't have the votes, so the sponsor goes to other members of Congress and asks for their support, and the person says, I can't support your measure. The sponsor says, I need your vote. What will it take? So by collecting enough bridges to nowhere, uh, you get a piece of legislation that passes by the use of riders, uh, no part of which could pass on its own merits. Right, and obviously the reason for doing this uh, convention is because certainly Congress isn't going to limit itself. Well, we will get a member of Congress to introduce a joint resolution. There's only two ways to amend the United States Constitution, and that's covered by Article 5 of the Constitution. One way, uh, Congress, by joint resolution adopted by a two-thirds vote of uh, both houses, can propose an amendment to the United States Constitution. Uh, the framers of our uh, Constitution uh, added a, another way, a second way, to amend the United States Constitution, and that is if two-thirds of the state legislatures make an application for an Article V convention on a limited subject, then uh, uh, Congress must convene a constitutional, an, uh, an Article V convention, it's called, on that limited subject. And uh, we're going to go after both routes, but realistically, um, it's going to take an Article V convention realistically to uh, get the get the job done. And there are those that are concerned uh, and expressed this past week in the Legislative Committee in the Senate that once you send some delegates to start amending the Constitution, as was done in 18, 1787 with the Articles of Confederation, they basically took a vote to be secret, and they came up with a whole new Constitution. And so the question was raised, should we be afraid of what we're asking for? Uh, no, not, not today. Um, uh, the, um, it's not me saying this, but constitutional attorneys, constitutional scholars, constitutional uh, historians uh, all ag agree that uh, it would be virtually impossible to have anything other than a limited convention. And uh, when you go back to basics, um, you know, the states would be asking for a limited convention on a particular subject. Uh, those aren't counted unless you have 34 states that address that particular issue. Congress would then call the convention, because that's their constitutional responsibility, but, it would, but Congress would call it limiting it to that particular subject. And then on top of that, every state, by the time there's an Article V convention, would have on their books statutory uh, language, and Florida's considering uh, that language today. Indiana's already passed it, called a delegates bill, such that um, it would provide the mechanism whereby uh, state legislatures could uh, select delegates, uh, provide instructions for those delegates, require an oath of those delegates, and criminal penalties if they consider anything outside the call of the convention, even consider it, much less vote on something. Well, and then the final, of course, is three quarters of the states have exactly. to ratify it. Exactly, because amending the Constitution is a two-step process, whether or not uh, Congress proposes the amendment or whether or not an Article 5 convention proposes an amendment. 
Uh, the second step is the ratification uh, process, and um, Congress, the only other uh, role in this whole process is they select the ratification method, and that method is either going to be three-fourths um, uh, pass passage by three-fourths of state legislatures or passage by three-fourths of state conventions. But in the history of our country, out of the 27 amendments to the United States Constitution, there's only been one that uh, required a state constitution passage. The rest have been all by state legislatures. All right, Spider-Webb, thank you for being here and sort of explaining where you're going and why with it. We, we appreciate it. We'll keep you up to date as uh, some of this legislation continues to move in the final weeks of the legislative session. We're going to take a quick break, but before we do, former Senator Bob McKnight is here with his weekly quorum call, this one featuring Kurt Kaiser. 